At this point, I've got too much dust. So I use a, a mister, and what I've got in here is about 50-50 water and, and alcohol. Different alcohols dry at different rates of speed. I haven't tested them enough to know which one works the best. I'm using methanol. Well, Harry, how can you tell that uh, it needs water? Well, I look for the cores to have a dry look on the surface rather than a glistening wet look. And I look for a dust trail up here. And all that tells me is that they're not absorbing any more dust yet. They're just not taking any more. When they get to that point, I know it's time to give it a hit of water so they'll start to take up dust again. When you say a hit of water, how much water are you going to put? Are you going to deluge it? No, it, no. no, at this stage in particular, I use very, very small increments. I'd rather use several small increments than a lot of them, than, than one huge squirt, because if I put too much, they'll gum up. Show us how you do that. All right. Let me dust them one more time, because while we were talking, they've absorbed it again. Now they're dusty. And I'm going to use a mister, just like you can get in any store, and I'm using 50-50 water and alcohol. I point the mister so that the, I direct the spray right straight into the cores. I don't, I try not to overspray onto the aluminum or the side of the pot. And I put a little squirt in there. Now here's where this machine works really well. The machine is actually circulating the small and the large cores, and when we stop this, you'll see what I'm talking about, up through the pile. So a couple of hits will actually get them all covered, a couple of small hits. Now you notice when I did that, that the pile started moving back and forth. That tells you that it's getting wet enough. Tell us what kind of alcohol you're using. I'm using methanol. Uh, 100%? 50-50 water and uh, methanol. Just, just regular 100% methanol. Like you get where? The Skylighter, where you get it. Oh, okay. Could you use 70% isopropanol from the drugstore? Sure. Yeah, and remember that isopropanol has has water in it, but this is not critical. And I'm, I'm a little dry there. Put two or three little small hits. My pile is wet again. Now I'm going to put a little more dust on there to get them larger. And then what we're going to have to do is break up some of the clumps because they're stuck together. I don't know whether you can see that in this picture, but when we stop it, I'll show you what that looks like. Because what you've got is three and four and five stars stuck together there. While you're working on your clumps, there, could you tell us something about the, the binders that you're using here? Is this all, these this star clumps all dextrin? It's 5% dextrin is, is all that's in this Okay, one. so then uh, the alcohol is really there just as a surface tension breaker or something? I mean, the well, the alcohol actually speeds up the drying process. Okay. If I want the stars to dry a little faster. Now, can you get this? in my hand here. You see these? See what I've got is I've got clumps of two and five and ten stars. So what I want to do when I have these clumps is I just take them in, in my hand and I break them apart. Now I'm going to show you how it looks in the palm of my hand. Notice the cores are showing, you've got dry powder, you've got all kinds of things. It's not really critical. Don't worry about it. Now, you're gonna, what's going to result is you're going to have stars coming out of this in different sizes, but we'll show you how you solve that later.